the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, their win total sits at 12 and a half. I mean, just an absurd number. Uh, however, they have hit the over on their uh, regular season win total eight straight years, all under Andy Reid. So, you know the guy knows what he's doing. To win the division, obviously, number one, minus 300 for them to win the division. To win the AFC, plus 225. They're the favorites. Uh, to make the playoffs is minus 1,200, which is bananas. I mean, these numbers are absurd. To not make the playoffs is plus 650. They are a projected favorite in 16 of 17 games. And their strength of schedule, it is the 20th easiest. I don't know if that's the, the easiest way to say that, but... Uh, the Chiefs, with Patrick Mahomes starting 38-8, and eight. Uh, the offensive line was decimated towards the end of last season, and they rebuilt it. I mean, they just fixed it right up. They got a bunch of top 30 guys graded out by PFF. They traded for Orlando Brown Jr. They signed Joe Thune. They uh, brought back uh, uh, Davernay, Duvernay Tardif. I'd say that name right. Yep. So schedule-wise, they've got three teams that are coming off of Monday night games which is just not even fair. I don't even think another team in the NFL has two. And it, it, you got to figure All out. All of their hard games are at home. Yes. They, is the there, outside of the division, they will not go on the road to play a team that might not have a winning record. It, it's insane. It's insane. Uh, by the way, are we going to see any kind of a regression from the 8-1 and one record last season in one-score games? Because they played it super. They, they sleptwalked through a ton of games last year. And because you and I talked about this a bunch, they did not cover a bunch of games because oh, no. they just no, they didn't were care. A great, they were a great fade. They were a yeah. great fade all year. AFC West could be loaded. Schedule, you know, they bring in the AFC North and the Titans and the Packers. But as we talked about, I mean, they get all the tough games at home. The question is, you know, if Mahomes gets injured, do we trust Chad Henney to be able to take no. this team over? No, of course not. So it, it's, all, it's all on Mahomes. It's all on Mahomes. And and if we are going with the mindset that Mahomes will be the quarterback, I mean I'm gonna go over the twelve and a half. Like you know, my principal play last week, uh, I think it was in the NFC West, was the Rams. I was going under the ten and a half because there hadn't been a lot of overs that hit on double digit win totals, and yet twelve and a half. I'm sitting here going over because I see the number eight straight overs for Andy Reid. Like this team turns it on when they want to, and it's it's frustrating. But this is a this is a bomb football team, man. <laughs> they are so good. All right, so I'm I'm going under in the in the premise that it's twelve and a half. I've got this team at twelve and five. Okay? okay, I don't think that's a slap in the face. I don't think that's a disrespectful thing. I don't I don't want to hear Chiefs fans say, "Oh, you're full of shit," and I don't want to hear whatever. Come on, I got you winning twelve damn games. Okay. I I just think at some point in time you're you're going to run into logs in the season where things get hard, rather it do be due to injury or or other teams are just finally got enough film on you. I I don't know what's gonna happen. It's the NFL, okay? It's really hard to keep winning all the time. And winning twelve games is not a bad thing, all right? I, My I argument agree. for the offensive line is, is you're bringing in five guys that are all graded top 30 guys. Congratulations. They hadn't played one snap together ever. Ever. Offensive line is not something that you can just throw the five best guys in and say, go to work, boys. Offensive line is a thing of cohesion. It is a thing of family. It is a thing of we've, we have to work as one. If one person is weak, it doesn't matter how strong the other four are. You're done. Okay? I think... Think to think that we just brought in a bunch of mercenaries that are all going to instantly gel. That's that's not realistic. It's the, just it's just not. The beginning of the season is is the most difficult stretch, I think. Right. That's right. The Cleveland Browns at the Ravens, Chargers coming in. Then you've got yep. at the Eagles, which we don't think highly of them. But after yep. that, you got the Bills at Washington and at the Titans, and then it gets fairly easier from there. Oh, from but, there, it's easy. But these are the games that you have to worry about. Are you, is your offensive line working as a cohesion? Yeah. Is that defense any better? But I'm going to tell you this. The defense is not very good at football, all right? Their, their down linemen aren't great, and their linebackers aren't great, all right? They've got a secondary that's pretty good, okay? Maybe really good. But their front seven are not good at all, all right? They got a couple of names, but those guys 
ain't great at all. All right. I mean, no, nobody is, is blowing anybody's hair back from that front seven. Yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. So, so to think that for them to continue to win games, the way they've always been winning them, it's going to be track meets. Okay. We think the the Chargers are going to have a much better defense this year than they did last, right? We believe yeah. that they're going to be better. We think the Browns' defense is going to be significantly better. We think the Bills' defense is going to be – like, these are teams that you're going to play against. They're going to fight you like hell. And Patrick Mahomes is incredible. He is. But he's not magic. No, I mean, we saw that in still the Super Bowl. A, it's still a like, really hard game to play. Yes. Yes, it is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.